Suarez delivers, swing and a drive, left field, it's deep, it's going, yes. and it is going, you can't see yes! You can't see them things they want. The Wild Wild West. I was the first American to go there. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to start a podcast. Well, God, just coming in laughing, having <laughs> fun. Guys having fun. Oh, you guys should have seen this stuff before. It was so good. Ari. Yeah, bro. Say hello. What's up, guys? My name's Ari Shafir. I'm one of those. I like that. Joe. I like James. that. Hello, I'm James McCann. I'm not. I'm just hanging out. I'm yeah. from Australia. I'm happy to be here. He's from Australia. Can Where you are you from, James? It? I'm from Adelaide. Nice. Nobody goes there. Beautiful. Yeah. No, Tony giant Hinchcliffe bats. Came giant once. bats, right? We got giant bats. Tony Hinchcliffe came and said we had the worst comedy scene he had ever seen. Mm. We we have that on a little. Yeah, black Australian now. comedy scene's crazy, a, dude. It lives a, and dies around. Uh, who's the guy? Who's the main guy? Powers was no Jim Jeffries. Oh, Jim Jeffries. Damien. Damien. Yeah. Yeah. Powers yeah, was number one. He's exceptional. Every yeah, Australian great. comedian goes. I've supported Jim Jeffries. Eh? Every <laughs> Australian. It, it's the whole ecosystem. The he's ecosystem the son. Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries the son of Australia. No, they comedy. hated Jim Jeffries till he got big outside Australia. Really? <laughs> yeah. They're like, fuck you. You think you're better than us? And then he hit big in America. Like, you're pretty cool. Yeah. America supports big dogs. I feel like every other country yeah. tries to tear down any big dog. You think you're the big guy, huh? You think you're the big fella. Truth. Think you're the big fella, huh? And then he yeah. gets big and supports the whole comedy scene. They go, yeah, I've supported Jim Jeffries. Uh, I've always loved Jim Jeffries. <laughs> I bought him a VB once. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I've never bought Jim Jeffries a VB. I might open for him in Pittsburgh, maybe. I don't know. You might, I'm told I might you be need allowed to support to. him in Pittsburgh. I would like to support him in Pittsburgh. Do you think you could kick his ass? Could I kick Jim Jeffries' ass? I don't know. I never. I don't know. Could what you? No, he's big and he's sober and he's wiry and he's got a new baby and he's full of anxiety. You gotta really? steal his baby, oh, and make yeah. him even fight. Yeah, he'd bite you. Yeah, he he steal his baby, up. be like, try something. We'll see what happens to this baby. You'd be. Why no, do I want to fight? You'd be a dingo. <laughs> <laughs> he'd say, "Oh no, dingoes eat my baby again." Oh. <laughs> that didn't happen. She killed that baby. She killed a baby. She, she killed definitely killed, baby. killed that baby. Yeah, she killed baby. Baby. You should take his baby. And you use should. it for collateral. What do we want? I don't kidnap his baby. When he called Jim, he, when you when called video comes he called Jim Jeffries a pussy it. early last night at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens in American bars. That's slander. No, but for real, That's hear a... me out. If you stole Jim Jeffries' newborn baby, mm. yeah. you could get whatever you want. You'd have all the power. He has money, he would and he bend, has no reason dude. to pay. He would bend. He'd bend to your will. Surely, there's an easier baby to abduct than a Jeffries baby at but, this point. Someone I don't know, someone I'm not related to. If I'm going, yeah, to but you know you he's on the road. He's on the road. True, you gotta man. fly back wherever he lives. I think he lives in a compound, though, right? You can compound media. Isn't that how people live in LA? <laughs> they have big fences and guns. And big no, dogs. you can get in there. All right, I don't let's want to start steal the podcast. The true, true. true. <laughs> man, what's going on? Not much, man. I uh, the only thing right now that I have two things floating on my mind. Mainly is I simped in a dream recently, and I'm not happy about it. Who'd you uh, simp for? Stranger. Total stranger. You fell in love. I was walking in an apartment complex and I simped and Brittany was right next to me. And she's like, dude, kind, didn't, she didn't use this language. She's like, why are you simping to that lady? And I was like, not. Nah, she's just being nice to me. And then I was simping the whole time. I was like, just I'd like go and be like, I go outside and take out the trash. <laughs> and I'd be like, hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> and I kept simping the whole dream. It was, it you was loved. completely embarrassing, dude. And I and then eventually I, there was like a big event in the apartment complex. <laughs> and I gave a speech about the vax. And then they all walked away. And I was like, no. You gave a speech about the vax? Was it about its cons? <laughs> I can't. I legally can't say it on YouTube, but it was. I was in a physical contest. <laughs> yeah. I, was you can't in, say your dream. I was in a physical contest <laughs> against a person who was like heavily boosted, and we had to like do one on one football, and I won. And I got to be. I was representing another contingent of people of a possibility of the vaccine. 
You're and always a leader in your dreams. Yeah. It's crazy. You are like a leader of men in your dreams. <laughs> What's one off football too? <laughs> it was just he had to try to tackle me. Oklahoma drill. He had to try to tackle me, and I was carrying him all my. It was a kid I played pee wee football with. You had the Oklahoma drill against a kid. Yep. You Jim Brown him into the end zone. I was carrying him on my back, and I looked at the lady I was sipping for, and I was like, and her whole family left, and I was like, oh man. My and I woke uh, up and I had to look at my wife and be like, I'm so sorry. I simped in the astral realm. I didn't do anything. I was just simping so fucking hard. You just were in love. You're for showing straight, off. For a total stranger. Did it work? Damn. No, dude. Because then I started, I won. I, I literally scored a touchdown with this dude on my back. And I was just like, hey, fuck the fucking, you know what? Fuck that medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and her whole family was like, what the fuck said, is this? Fuck that You spiked the ball and said, fuck that medicine. <laughs> that fuck was my dream. Medicine. That was my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a slick 76ers tee. Yo, thank you, bro. It's nice. very slick. Thank you. I don't know. It just it found its way into my wardrobe, but I've yeah, been rocking the, the shit out of it. I don't know. This is definitely something. I, I was. I think I was swimming at a pool, and I think I somehow got Somebody this. Somebody gave it to you. Stole it. Just be like, on a, on a chair nearby <laughs> yours. Sure like, It'll did. do. I don't know how this got into my apparel, but I've been rocking the shit out of it. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's right now. It's that's, a good dream. It's number one on my mind. But That was last night? That was like two nights ago. Yeah. Two nights ago, I had that. Job. I'm st- I can't. Do you remember what the beautiful it. woman looked like? That just you a brunette. For? Just a brunette. A brunette. A brunette. A white brunette. A pale brunette. Yeah, I was taking all the trash. She was being nice to me, dude. You simped to a white. I did. <laughs> it was my dream. This is my unconscious. <laughs> deep down inside, you want in to be my with, deep down creative. You force, want to be with Whitey. In my deep down creative force, <laughs> I was simping to Whitey. <laughs> Whitey. But then I turned around and I. You simped to fucking white. But then white. I hit. I hit her family with an anti-establishment take, and they all went, "This guy is no good." And True. Walked away. I crawled back to my wife and I was like, I'm so sorry. I was sipping. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. It's no problem. That's pretty good. Yeah, it got me. It was pretty funny. I woke up and I was like, it's kind of funny. That is very funny. Just purely simp. There was nothing sexual. It was not, not fucking in a dream, just like pathetically <laughs> trying to flirt. Just, oh, hey. <laughs> That's all <I> was. <laughs> this will impress her family. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, the, I will say, when you just watch Bryce Harper hitting the home run, that was the feeling. Dude, I, that I was experienced great. that feeling in the dream. Imagine carrying someone on your back into the end zone in front of it. was the whole apartment complex was watching. It was crazy. It was Do you think Bryce crazy. hit that to deny the did it? <laughs> <laughs> As soon as he got done hitting it, he was like, fucking bullshit what, what, medicine, what you, dude. What do you think this means, dude? <laughs> that means the vaccine. Dr. Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> the vaccine. <laughs> Dr. Don't Fauci let it in. disappeared, bro, because he knew Bryce Harper would fuck him up. That's a yeah. sign. Fauci couldn't hit that shot. I mean, dude, that's my deepest down creative force. Like my all my critical faculties left my mind and my brain was like, here you go, brother. The dangers of simping. Yes. Champion. <laughs> Physical champion due to your medical choices. <laughs> <laughs> what was simping before simping? Do they have another word for it? Like 10 years ago? I think it was. It wasn't quite, it wasn't pussy whip. Pussy whips after pussy in a whips afterwards. Yeah, there, I don't think there was a term for it. I think dudes just simped and we were all unconscious yeah. of the phenomenon. Just <laughs> no one called simping anybody on it. it. Simping yeah. is an old word, by the way. Is it really? Yeah, I was watching. So in I was in Houston. I was in H Town this weekend. Shout out the Astros. Down. Fuck yeah. Astros. Fuck the Astros. Fuck Still you, dude. Now fuck the Astros. <laughs> I uh, I was in H Town. You're in Astro World. And then I was in Astro. Don't joke about what happened. <laughs> Tr- trampling on the graves of the Don't. fallen. <laughs> I'm not I'm sad about them. The way no one fucking stopped fucking DJ dancing to uh, when they were fucking done. Is that you call rap? DJ dancing. Yeah. <laughs> that was the running of you the young bulls. That, yeah. that might have been the running of the young bulls. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's not a funny. DJ Jazzy Jeff was playing in their heads as they were being skull, skull crushed. Oh I'll wait. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you about my true, time. True, true, true. How many people did you kill in Houston? <laughs> Biggest tragedy since Oswald. You're going to have to go back to Australia. Dude. You can't act like this. All the Australians are going to see this. They're going to say, True. did you see James on the big podcast? <laughs> because he acted like an asshole. He gave Shane a real case of Adelaide's. <laughs> I'll try and be pleased. Adelaide's is not bad. It's, um, yeah, they we don't say that there? We don't say that, but it's good. I'll take that back. Bring it back. Shane, let's fucking land this I was thing. in Asia Town. Okay. <laughs> I ate some weed edibles. <gasps> nice. So I decided to go back to my hotel room and watch rap videos nice. from the early 2000s. <laughs> 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 Till four in the morning. Would you? Can you walk me? I through? watched stunt like my daddy oh, music video. Fuck yes, Push I watched. Boom. It started with uh, Fat Pat, Top Strap. 
It's a H Town classic. <laughs> it's so good. It might be my favorite song. Then, uh, and then I was watching rap videos, but in one of those old videos, they called someone a simp. Did they really? really? In early, the same context? Early, t- yes. Damn. Uh, was it Fat Pat? Who did it? No, but I th- believe they were rhyming it with the word pimp. <laughs> oh, shit. So they say yeah. simp and ain't easy? <laughs> no, but it's in there. I heard it. I don't remember which song. What? I just want you to know, simp is an old word. So you got stoned, ran no. back to headquarters, and then discovered Watched old that. Little Wayne music videos. He was so little. He was so when little. I came over yesterday. Yeah, he was so young. On. I was watching, I watched Juvenile. I mean, it was great. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I was watching, and then I slowly got into Cameron. Then I watched some Fat Joe and Big Pun. And then I I started to come to Earth and realized what I was doing was, uh, you know, it was time to go to bed. What was the... (laughs) What was the feeling when you're like, I got to get out of the setting and get back to the ho- hotel room? Was it just being stoned or was there like a- It was high, but there was also, dude, the one night, the night before I took a little bit of mushrooms mm-hmm. and I was sitting there and it was a nice evening and yeah. there was a bar right next to the improv and one of the, fa- a bunch of the guys from the show were there and a fan came up behind me and just started slowly rubbing my back. <laughs> <laughs> While I was sitting on a stool, I was sitting on a stool talking to people like this. He walked up behind me and just started rubbing my back and I was- a little fucked up and I didn't really like notice it. You got to say no he immediately. Rubbed, he rubbed my back for a long time. What? And then finally I was like, I turned around and then his buddy was across and saw that I, he saw what was happening. He was like, dude, <laughs> he like grabbed his friend. He's like, get the fuck off of him. And the guy was like, what? <laughs> yeah, he was shit faced and he came up and gave me a nice back rub. And he loved it for a while. Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you, what was your reaction to that? Or I laughed. Just- I thought it was very funny. Did somebody do that with Billy Joel? Me and Justin and Sal and and Jay went, and some guy put his arm around me on the way out, just like gently. And I was like, hey, what are you doing? Someone tried to fuck you at the Billy Joel concert? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Was he he a fan? No. He's like, what are you, a Finns fan? I'm like, no. They just played the Jets. I'm like, no. get Hey, don't (laughs) touch me. He goes, sorry. Are you a Finns fan? Yeah, Yeah, that was so weird. you like the Dolphins? (laughs) (laughs) Is that what what you're saying? Is that code? code? I guess. And I was like, don't ever touch me like that. Damn. And he tried to laugh it off, but I wasn't happy. He tried to grab you. A stranger. Yeah, he followed us down the fucking street. You don't like Higher, bro. Touched. Higher. <laughs> the peeny. I'm not touching a penis. <laughs> I'll get hard. I'll get hard right on you. I can do it on camera. Right. Who would win in that case? In what? If you touched his penis and he got hard. <laughs> uh, that would be a victory for me. I think the people win. You think the people? That's Making people. him hard. You guys that's, both would become the people's you champ. You would be gay for that. Dude, I'm always hard. <laughs> I get unhard on occasion. Really? Yeah, that's how hard I go. Well, James, sounds like a real problem. Yeah, it does is. your yeah. penis work? Yeah, it works good. It's effective. Works fine. I had a circumcision earlier in the year and what? back to what? normal now. Yeah, it's great. Huh? What? James signed a covenant with God. Yeah. You just converted? No, no, it was a medical circumcision. I had scar tissue on the foreskin. It was real bad. Wait, how did it get scarred? Oh, man, up? I didn't realize your that's penis what I actually didn't work. I this thought I'd severely. masturbated myself into a real problem. You trying to do but, uh, lines into your fucking foreskin? <laughs> Does that happen? <laughs> I don't know. I figure Australia. So what would Stevie do Nicks it. is doing now that wait, the what nose happened to your work? penis? Yeah, just the uh, foreskin got real tight and it would not uh, retract. So I had to have oh, it I've heard of that happening. Where you like, cut yeah. it open? Did you convert open, to Judaism while you were there? I thought it would be a good opportunity. Yeah, but I love sure. Christ and His love. You know, I'm sorry. He's the law is too. Much. He loves Christ. Yeah. That's sick. Can you talk about mm-hmm. Catholicism? Can we talk want? about it? Or do yeah. you not want to? No, I don't. you should have got the conversion right thing. Go fuck you. I'm not even serious. I, well, I thought I about Christ. getting a rabbi to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the and then I could throw blood know, in his face. Stay. Well, they knock you out though in the other one. I didn't now want to be awake for it. The general That's anesthetic, how, which is it, lovely. You notice a big difference now? Is it much better? Really? Oh, it's a better penis. Have you fucked since? Yes. With my, I've made love to my wife. I've yeah. heard, I've heard people say the opposite, where yeah. like they lose no, all the sensitivity. No, it's a much better. Why? I think it's a what? gift. I think the circumcision is a gift from God to improve the penis. Whoa! It's That's my call. Up. I don't I mean, know how many people can say before and after. Yeah, I think not it's many. definitely better. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. Wow. Maybe you're because the tip of your dick was in isolation for so long. <laughs> Now it feels it's really socialized. Yeah. It's good yeah. friends. Well, how long it felt ago like was the operation? A, Sorry. Oh, no, it's all right. It was like six months. Oh, it so yeah, like you, would have, you would have normalized. Yeah. I guess it is like a stick shift dong to have to not be circumcised. You're you're now driving automatic. Yeah. Damn, you're a manual. You you're auto. Mm-hmm. It's, it's more. Sick. It's more. You, say you can tell. Yeah, the difference. True. In me? <laughs> My friends <laughs> did a joke man. about it. The only way you can tell is you've got half a circumcision down the middle. And so it's like a Desinex commercial. But you feel like this size. It feels great. This size feels so, so. Damn, dude, that's pretty interesting. That's wild. Well, dude. people keep trying to say it's like abuse. Do you, do you right? not like, now? Hmm? 
do not yeah, that you was go, never oh, a problem that was never <laughs> <laughs> no, i was like holy dolly what are we doing yeah, oh, holy dolly <laughs> it's, it's so i mean you know people say have you been told it's abuse and you've been abused at, saying yeah. i was i was uh, that, i was yeah. um what was what's it called they mutilated mutilated yeah and i was like i'm not, I'm, not, I'm okay with that I think you've been mutilated yeah they start screaming at me well they try and make it the same as female circumcision which uh-huh. it's not nearly as hot nothing females do is good yeah mm-hmm. female circumcision <laughs> is wild it's a lot they, they get their do it with whole, like a rock they get the whole thing like scooped out it depends, <laughs> there's different levels to it what do you mean yeah so like the full female circumcision is clitoris removed mm-hmm. yeah. i think they remove your lips too maybe and then they sew, they sew your vagina up. shut that like your husband on the night of is the labia the, the lips stitches. the labia yeah. have to go oh like and like a fucking football team coming uh, through that. yeah and you have to like a smoke machine <laughs> No, yeah, female circumcision. Time as Mrs. Dude, Johnson. that's crazy. I was on the full like no circumcision. I was like fuck that. But now that I'm hearing your story, I'm like, man, you're not maybe. circumcised. I am. Yeah, I'm, you are. Yeah, yeah, they got me. No, you should be happy. You should be happy that. Nice. They that gave time. me a good one. I've heard circumcisions going wrong, and people like they taking too much skin. <gasps> well, the hot, no, they, I think they cut mine right, but then you can't masturbate for three weeks, which I try not to do anyway. But I, I did not make it the full. You time. whacked off with a damaged bird. <sighs> It Nuts, was a dude. rough, uh, a lot of blood. <sighs> anyway, but it was a. It was a lot of blood. Yeah, anyway. but we've all learned and grown together. Now oh. I have a beautiful, only slightly weird penis. <laughs> it's only a little bit unusual. So you masturbated with a scarred penis, as tenderly as I could, and yeah. it resulted in as a, close to that. But I wish I had. But you know, gently. What did you do? Like a. Oh no! I was, <laughs> yeah, I just talked at it. I, but one shouldn't. But it's certainly helped me do that less. Did it feel good though when you the, shot um, semen? No, you? it was like an immediate. You know, but like the we was talk about the post nut clarity. Yeah, there's also post nut pain. It's not true on your penis, but it's the it's before true. the ejaculation that you have the clarity. When you, it's when you can't stop anymore, I think that's when it comes. Do you know what I mean? That's in the it's like a couple seconds going, before. Oh, so there's no pleasure. It it's just like so. I'm just there going, <laughs> "What have I done? What have I done?" And then it starts happening, and there's blood and things you are get shaking. That while and I'm going, you're coming. Oh yeah. What have no, I done? No, just before. What have I done? Ah, oh, no. I'm more than my accent. It's like that's <laughs> no, it's right. my, <laughs> it's my people. It's my, it's you would never accent. do this to a black man on the show. Hmm? And he that's would, what we. You would never have I think one. You'd on. be surprised. We're building. We're working our way <laughs> up. <yeah. laughs> Remember that scene in Single White Female where he realizes the fucking <laughs> friend is blowing him and not his girlfriend, and then uh, because she no. like cuts her hair like the friend, and then he's like, "Wait, you're not." And then he's like, "Stop." Uh, what happens? Uh, it's Single White Female. What What's is that? that? A movie where some girl, you must know it. It's some girl dresses like her friend, does everything like her friend to try to be her life. And then she like breaks into a, like the friend's boyfriend's apartment and starts blowing in the middle of the night. And then he like realizes it's like last second. Like, wait, you're not my girlfriend. Someone made a you're feature film out of a porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a 15 minute Also, video. that is every dude's dream. Yeah, then no, he gets mad about it. I didn't, it, I couldn't help it. It was not my fault. Yeah. I got duped. You know your friend? She sucked my dick. Yeah. They should have a whole section of porn called plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> this friend real. tricked me again. I'm pissed. I keep getting tricked by these girls. <laughs> I thought they were you, babe. She got the same haircut as you and had a key. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you're not dating three black men. <laughs> 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 Ari, I had a yeah. suspicion something was. You wrong. shouldn't be joking about the blacks. <laughs> Three, oh, Three black men got a haircut. <laughs> it fucked me in my room. I thought it was you, babe. Ari, right, you, sh- you should take it easy on the jokes about the blacks because Yeezy's gonna get you. Yeezy Yay. is coming after me. Did you watch a Lex Friedman interview? No. no. What was it? Was it good? Dude, it's pretty. Wild. Did Kanye do a Lex Friedman interview? Yeah. Yes, he did. I watched what? it. I-, I listened to it last night before. I, I had to turn it off. How I was nice was so it? So ramped up. It's uh. He's up to something. It's wild, dude. I think he's trying to get Adidas to drop him. Why? They did. They did. Adidas they did today. Him. I think that's what he's been after the whole no, time. So where does he want to go to Nike? This I think he wants thing? to be free. I no, think he, he wants to clar- He's kind of clarified. His whole thing is like. What's the clarification? Well, he, this was he, Lex was like, dude, by Def Con Three, he meant. I, like, like, I, th- I thought he just meant he's firing his agents. But go ahead. What is? What did yeah, he? Yeah, he. Uh, he's saying he's like from my personal perspective, I got fucked over in business by. My Jewish manager's agents. He's like, it's happened so many times. There's Can I no break other- in? Can I break in? Yeah, yeah. If that guy is considered being fucked over, <laughs> that, that's a fucking solid like being fucked over. He's doing. Don't try well. to cover up for what you guys do to the. <laughs> well, well, and you, what well, you guys do to uh, African Americans in the music industry? Well, he wants to say he kept saying my in the fellow interview, people who run this platform. 
please delete all comments <laughs> no. that take no. away from the Jews. Jews, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do it to well, us. Well, the funny part in the interview truly is when he's uh, he starts going the Jewish media and, and Fre- Friedman's like, bro, bro, like, what are you doing? He was like. What I can't say that, and they were like, "No." He's like, "All right, the JM," and he's like, "Dude, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so funny. It's not like it's not like uh, FM rules where you're like, <laughs> he, <laughs> he's putting he his D in. The- he does the JM, and it's dude, it's so fucking. You see funny. him on Piers Morgan when he called Biden a retard. Yeah, that's I saw, right. I saw the like, clip of that. He's not meeting with Elon Musk. He's a he's retard. a fucking re- he, that's fucking retarded. Yeah. He's a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> Piers Morgan has to be like. You can't say that. <laughs> Don't say retard. <laughs> Wait. So what did he clarify? What, did, what was he saying? That was kind of his whole thing. He it was it was and it, it's so hard. it's like it's when you really try to like zero in it gets so yeah it's it gets like, all over the place. It gets all That's over how it was the place. Rogan. But it's like uh, he would kind of then the, the guy would Friedman would be like dude like read about the Holocaust and he'd be like how about the Holocaust on black babies being aborted and he would start going into that and then they never really yeah dude he he it's was about equal numbers. Yeah, he kept going. He was saying it's like uh, it's way more, way, way more. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever look at how many abortions there are in the yeah? Because he goes for, like, way months. back. And then he started saying like black people are sick or like the the people are like sick, and he starts. But like, dude, whole like he starts bringing in the facts. He started. That's his whole thing is that he's an engineer and he only deals in facts. <laughs> dude, the whole episode he's like, we're both engineers. I'm dealing in facts. He's like, what <laughs> I said, I said. I'm sorry it hurt people, but I'm also I'm not apologizing for saying it. He's like, I'm just the owner facts, and we're just engineers with engineering opportunities in front, or we're human yeah. beings with engineering opportunities in front of us, and we should stop teaching history altogether. Yeah. And just engineer sick shit, and then you have recesses. You need to stay away from Kanye interviews. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. I know, but he's, this, so he's really speaking yeah, your language. You. He did. These, these are words. Uh, JM is you. JM is so 100% funny, dude. you. I did. Ca- Sean was with me, and I listened. I cackled. Yeah. Goes, All right, the JM then, and Lex is like, God damn it. Lex is being so nice to him the whole time. He's like, dude, I'm Jewish. I want to av- I want to have you avoid crashing. I got to hang out with Lex for a Did while. You? He's a really good guy. Yeah. He's a cool fucking dude. He was dude. so nice the whole time, yeah. dude. At one what point, does he do? Just count jelly beans all day? <laughs> <laughs> At one point. Harry, we're not doing this, dude. <laughs> you think it, you're here to promote your special. I, 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 I. November 2nd, everybody. My new special. November 2nd. We pre-jacked. Uh, we didn't know this. I thought it was. I thought your special was coming out. Literally, I was like, hey, but twice. I was like, first I was like, yeah, it's coming out November 2nd. I do your podcast. Yeah, sure. And I was like, hey, this is coming out after November 2nd, right? And you said, yes. <laughs> Dude, so- November 2nd, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> there was one part that was, uh, he, he really must you be a like nice that guy. guy dog. Dude, him. at one part he goes like, yeah, but Kanye, but underneath all of this, like we are just humans. And like, we're all the same on some deep fundamental level. And Kanye West goes, Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> what? Never, never fucking addresses what he said. I was like, Jesus Christ. I love when the people deal with facts but refuse to be like, to go both. It's like, what about the Holocaust? Like, I'm not even going to mention that. I'll just say something else. <laughs> yeah, you can't even have like, yeah, yeah, no, that was terrible. Can I add to that? They're just like, I'm not even going to mention it. That's how they get shot. The same shit fucking Shapiro does. He's like, yeah. your pants are ugly. <laughs> like, yeah. Can you come with my shirt first? Nah. That was good. I, that happened. Uh, Ted Cruz was on The View. Yeah, he was, was he, he doing, was doing on there? battles with those fucking yappy bitches, dude. Abortion? He was just battling them. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. great. And he was hitting them with the fucking Hillary Clinton denied the election. Yeah. Monica Ray's not all that. He just named all these people that denied the election that were that Democrats. <laughs> and then one of the ladies' the responses line. was just, "Could you lower your voice? We're not screaming. You're screaming." Like uh. she could, they couldn't acknowledge <laughs> that everything. He, Ted went on and spit facts. Yeah, that's their version of. There, T H E I R. It really is. They're like, uh, you're raising your voice right now, dude. I I, I hate when conservatives get tone police, dude. Yeah, you start tone police. Let us scream, dude. Yeah, us dude. conservatives. Us, us <laughs> you're conservative. Us U S. You're conservative. Yeah. You're definitely yeah. a conservative. I've heard you. Can I at me? You've been tiptoeing around. I've heard some of his points. Really? We had to, we had a couple of drinks last night, and he started making. I tried to you're keep up to on the alcohol. Like I do mm-hmm. I've never heard of the blacks. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've we've got our own. You it's said average. Ooh. No. What? What? <laughs> no, I said a lot of stuff, you, too. I don't want to get into this. Game. I've been very quiet. <laughs> now that I'm, that now that I'm remembering my this. statements. <laughs> so you're, you're leaning towards concern. What was your... Were you I a, said I'd like our country to have a nuclear weapon. That's all I said. All right. I don't think you're going to okay. protect us long term. 
Well, I think the Chinese will come down. It would be nice if we could protect ourselves with a nuclear you would weapon. Like you dev- you'd like the possibility of devastating China with a nuclear just weapon. Just to threaten them and just say, please. How would, how would you? I think you would China. like to, sh- to show that you mean business, you would just nuke Tanzania. <laughs> of all places? Yeah. You mean Tasmania? I do mean that. Yeah. Thanks, Shane, for clarifying. I was thinking that's, that's a good long range. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If we can get to hit Tanzania. Fucking Africa. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks Africa. Thanks we obviously did not hit that on purpose, but I hope everybody knows we're crazy. It would be funny if someone just preemptively struck Tanzania. Yeah. Mm. They're like, something was going on there. <laughs> would be great they if were going to be big. I don't know yeah. what they did to deserve that, but something. it must have been pretty bad. Dude, great if they like took, they're like, shit, I did mean Tasmania. Sorry about that nuclear weapon. <laughs> yeah, the, the Kanye interview, I was just thinking, it really was. It was like two factions of the internet meeting each other through those two people. It was like Lex Friedman would be like, bro, I care about you. I love you. I care about humanity. And then Kanye would hit some like, he would just go off on these other weird like tangents you'd find in the yeah. comments. And they were, it was... It was tough. It's funny to watch, but it's like it's. I love how the Nazis have like glommed on to Kanye West. <laughs> like they've ignored that. That's what I'm that saying. One yeah. big fact about him. We said, are having a singularity on the internet. White supremacy. Yeah. I think Nazis we're having a pure singularity. Getting on the to internet. listen to the college dropout does rule. <laughs> Yeah. They finally get to blast college dropout and be like, Dude, what, it's, what is it? It's, it makes everything look completely <laughs> absurd. It looks, the whole discussion looks it's totally absurd. absurd. It's when, crazy. When my Amazing Racist videos hit the, the internet. I um, remember those. Yeah, they got ripped off that uh, National Lampoon's DVD and uh, a white power website picked it up white nationalist.com and the, the headline was Jew boys got the right idea <laughs> <laughs> fuck dude they are funny they are funny they are fucking hilarious we're torn on this. <laughs> they're just like the black Israelites like they are funny yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. white nationalists will hit you with something where you're like damn that is fucking <laughs> unbelievably funny, funny. <laughs> yeah. but I can't repeat it but the, <laughs> dude the headlines will be like Michelle Obama <laughs> it's like chill 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 <laughs> but why he's like fucking what's his name Daniel Carver, Daniel Carver on Howard Stern. Wait, was, Daniel Carver, the writer? No, Daniel Carver, the Klansman that used to be on Howard Stern. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. He yeah. would say shit that was just. But he would just have a Klansman on regularly in between the woman on the. He would sex have a machine. Klansman come on and say the worst shit. Yeah, and he'd be like, "Ha ha ha, this is crazy." Yeah, attack Stern big time. Stern's a Stern's an interesting character. Yeah, yeah, was full. He went on there. No, he just was like fuck Stern. He was really giving. He it said to fuck him. Howard Stern. He, makes he doesn't put on hardcore Howard Stern anymore. Howard, Howard, Howard Stern and John Legend gets it bad. John Legend. John Legend. He was ripping John Legend. Fuck John Legend. For his bro. IBM commercials. <laughs> fuck John Legend, bro. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen's bitch ass. What is funny to Did really? Did you think see that? their fucking stillborn photos? <laughs> their nice stillborn oh, photos. Oh yeah. Didn't of, they... of a happy family. Woo! That was a crazy cause to be like, yo, I'm gonna bring light to this, and everyone was like. Uh, Bro, that's so sad. You just mourn that's for a minute. Yeah, that's trying to get Instagram like, can't be his idea. Who? John Legend. John Legend. Johnny Ledge. Yeah, T- I think tight sweater, chick- tight sweater, tight sweater. John Legend, dude, good speller. <laughs> Is that what Kanye says about him? <laughs> tight sweater, good speller. <laughs> <laughs> so Holy funny. shit! He called him a good speller. Yeah, he was just like, I'm not a good speller. I, I didn't realize. I didn't know how to spell Defcon. I spelled a Deathcon. That was my mistake. He's like, I'm a bad speller. <laughs> You can tell he's he's really fucking. That's the apology. He's, he's like, I'm to do Jewish. For the tweet? I'm a bad speller. That's all it was, and I was sleepy. It is what it is. Now we're here at this moment. It was a sleepy tweet. A sleepy tweet, dude. It gets sleepy it. Tweet. <laughs> sleepy tweet. <laughs> yeah, I come to sleep. That's tweet. what he said. He goes, "I met Defcon." You guys are reading into it. I he, met Defcon. Yeah, I think he was like, "I'm just a bad speller." He kept taking notes during the podcast. He's like, "I like that. I'm going to write that down." Blacks will often put that F where the T H is. <laughs> this was a nice reversal. <laughs> it's open season. He opened it. Yeah. It's open season. It's open season on what? Jews versus blacks. They can clash again. They can clash, they can clash again. again. Crown Heights. <laughs> front lines. Do you remember what they did to you guys? They made you guys build the pyramids. <laughs> I know. The blacks and the aliens teamed up. And nah, made Kanye, you- Kanye, Kanye claimed he built the pyramids. Kanye built he the pyramids. He claimed blacks built the pyramids. Blacks built it? Hey, blacks. <laughs> you're the real Israelites. Can I just say something? You're the real Israelites. Where were you doing the fucking Holocaust? You should have stayed quiet during all that shit. Fucking speak up. Take True. some of the abuse. So, hey, some of them liberated you guys. Two, so, of them, two of them. So you better say thanks. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, they I broke in. That. Jim Brown. There was there the was a black one. Holocaust. What? There was yeah, a black there Holocaust. Was a couple because the French, <laughs> yeah. uh, pretty, the French pretty. Algerians raped their way through in World War One through the uh, what is it the Sudetenland, and then by World War Two there were a bunch of black people in Germany, and really? they were all. They, I believe they were Holocaust as well. Fare, they didn't fare well during the Holocaust. No, I think they were. But I'm, you know, they were, you know, team in arm in arm. Jew is black also, and. Agreed. Yes. Yeah. He wouldn't thank say you. you're welcome. Wait, v- so- victim's a victim. Thank you. True. James, thank you. No, I'm sorry. I, just- I, mean, I think we should all come together, dude. That's all I'm trying to say. We should all Let's come all together. Let's all come together in our hatred of the Astros. 
True. <laughs> Fitbot tailors an exercise program to your goals, equipment, and schedule. It's the easiest way to work out. I use Fitbot myself. It shows you when you're using certain muscles and when you're not. It's pretty cool. It's just a workout app. It's good to have on your phone. It's cheaper than a personal trainer. And their video tutorials make it easy to learn a new routine. It varies your routine for you so you don't have to overtrain. Way cheaper than a personal trainer. Unless I'm more right. Fitbot is easy to use on both Apple and Android devices. Keep your workout momentum going. Get personalized workouts from Fitbot that get tougher as you do. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free when you try to sign up now at fitbod.me slash drench. That's 25% off your subscription or try it free at fitbod.me slash drenched. When you've had a long day, unwind like a grown up with a Lucy pouch. Check out all that Lucy has to offer at lucy.co. I can't personally endorse them because I'm not addicted to tobacco or nicotine, but I have heard good things. That's lucy.c.o. Use promo code drenched at checkout. If you're a listener from Canada, <coughs> you can now get Lucy at ca.lucy.co until your supreme leader says you can't because you don't have one of these things. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical according to the current research. But if you're interested in a better way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and use that promo code drenched. Have a great day. Dude, yeah, I was yeah, in Philly this past weekend. What fucking... I never got as big a response as when I had uh, Nate uh, uh, Marshall come out and tell me if... And six, if the Sixers won. If the, the uh, Phillies? Phillies won, yeah. No. I was like, just interrupt me. Wait till in Dude, between Dude, you know what I did? What? I, I was... Before I went on, it was the end of the Astros game. Yeah. It was... <laughs> So during the seventh inning, they the TVs were on in the showroom, and the whole crowd was going crazy. Fuck that! So I'm like ah. sitting there listening in the green room, like they're watching the game. Dude. They're yeah. gonna they, they, now we got to turn to be like games off. Hey everybody, welcome ah, to the comedy fuck. show. It's yeah. like a bar show. So yeah, it was rough. So they turned the TVs off. The show starts. They were actually pretty good, but I knew it was coming. It was in the ninth, and I had my phone on the stool. Watch. I had the game. <laughs> I had the game live, no. so then I could be like... While you're doing stand-up? In the middle of my set, I was like, all right, hold on. Uh, sound lady, could you turn the TVs back on with the sound? And they got to watch Aaron Judge, bitch-ass, get fucking out. He just you were in Houston for that I was in happen? Houston. I was on stage when they clinched. You had the game playing while you I had the game on my stool. And, you, like, and I was, turn it on? And I was like, turn it on. That's they turned smart. on the game. The place fucking went crazy. And then I was like, that might ruin the show. But the first joke I told, they were like... <laughs> they were like, so stoked. They were so excited, dude. Well, that, that was the beginning of your set that he hit the home run? No, it was the Astros game. Not the Phillies, oh, but I was in they were Houston. Closing it out. Oh, yeah. No, so the Houston Astros, Astros that's got to. The yeah. World Series. It was a nice moment. Damn, dude. Yeah. That's fucking wild. It was a cool moment. Did you keep the game on the entire time during your set or just in the beginning? Did well, you... it was it was pretty early. It was the ninth inning when I went on stage. Did you yeah. say you're so we're going to beat three you? Outs. Yeah, I closed the set with "fuck the Astros, go Phillies." Good. Fuck yeah. I said, "Fuck you guys, Phillies." I'm kind of blown away, dude. Come and keep, keep the game on while you perform. Might be the next thing you have to do. <laughs> yeah, just always to, have the game on while you do stand up. That's <laughs> old bar shows that always happen. They're <laughs> like we're not yeah. turning the Laker game. Just off. keep yeah. your Come cell on. phone playing the game and stop. Like I don't know. I'm like oh shit, they scored a touchdown. Yeah, just no keep thing. going in. Um, think about it. But just, I will. I will continue. To do that. I, I like that. It was fun. It was fun to look over. That's so fucking funny. But um. The f you you did that in Philadelphia. You told them, yeah, they went more nuts than any response yeah. I got. Yeah, any response I got. Yeah. It was like wild for about a minute and a half straight. That's pretty cool. Old ladies, like, yeah. dude, they stopped interrupting my bits for fucking once. <laughs> <laughs> I was they are there. Animals in Philly. What was that? Two thousand nine, I think, when yeah, they won. I was there yeah. in Philly. I was going to school, and they won. And I like turn on the TV. It was the ninth year of the World Series, ninth inning of the World Series. I'm like, oh shit. They won <laughs> and fucking it was a riot. I went and participated a in a riot. I was like, oh, yeah. cool. And I walked down and the last drank time beer in a deli and it was like, Woo! yeah, we did it. I'm not paying for this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stealing. <laughs> the last time I was there was the weekend before. You were a peaceful protester. I was. I was a peaceful protester. <laughs> there's going to be a peaceful protest. If the, if the Phillies win, there will definitely be a peaceful protest. Oh, Along sure, with the sure. racial protest. 
The what? Eagles, they were pulling people out of their cars and fucking beating them up for what? no reason. Yeah. Who did I that? was there that weekend. They were greasing up poles. I'm like, if the Philly... They were beating the, up if, white people? The what Eagles is the lose? greasing up poles thing? That's because they climbed the climb poles. Okay. And they don't stay up there. And dude's fault. I think someone fell and died. They like People climbed the top Hopefully. of poles and they fell and like fractured their skulls. <laughs> That's a tribute to the victory. It's a true. I mean, it, it, is. Beautiful. it is. It's the greatest tribute. It is awakening an ancient like energy in dudes to like, be victorious in the World Series. Dudes, yeah. I, I watched him hit that home run. Guys look each other in the eyes and they're like... Yeah, it's pretty sick. It's really, really fun, dude. It's awesome. It kind of rules. That was I was so happy when he hit that home run. When Bryce God, hit dude. that home run, he did he that for me. So dude, stoked. we need he to be that accessing that, that more throughout the day. Just look, you just find someone like ah! yeah, hand it does bring people together. Everyone's yeah. wearing the jerseys out there. Yes. Yeah. What are you talking about? People beating people up for the Eagles. Yeah, when the Eagles won, they were pulling people out of their cars. And just <laughs> That's not away. true. A hundred percent. I've true. never seen more. Look it up, New Lamare. Look it up. <laughs> People I've never seen Eagles more love. Like, what? What? What I was I was around. I left. That Eagles was Eagles fans. Yeah. yeah. No, they're just being at random. So it didn't oh. matter. That's how they show love in Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. I want to see if that's the case. That's pretty. I wild. don't think that's true. I think always. Was think it this, like? Was I it? I think it's case of the JM. You think it's JM? I think it's the JM. You are the JM, dude. I am. I. I <laughs> anyway, JM, the point is, dude. I'm switching allegiances. Yes. I'm swapping. Are you no, really? No longer a Yankee, dude. No. <gasps> Fuck them. They betrayed me too many times. This is uh, this is unbelievable. This, this is, is a big moment. For Breaking. Us. Aaron Judge, it's not all about the regular season. <laughs> <gasps> yes. Bryce. Oh, shit, Bryce. dude. It's time. That's, man, how you, that's how you do it. You are good in that. I've always loved you, bro. That does suit you better, those oh colors. Oh, God. Yeah, dude. you are good in pin I bleed scrubs. red and white. That's the move. I'm, dude, I, I don't know why conversions of different sports teams are frowned upon. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait to see the winning team. Everyone root for the winning team, and the whole country can just be like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> Phillies are America. That team Houston, won. they're about to secede. Yeah, true. Yeah. Don't root for Texas. Stolen anything. Mexican territory. How about they give that fucking shit yeah, back? Yeah, I was hitting them with that. Did you? Yeah, yeah I was down there. I was saying, nice. you guys are lucky. You know, anytime I perform in the South, I like to tell them. Who's in Texas? Say, Elon Musk? Musk? Joe Rogan? Rich people? Yeah. No, the common man's in Philadelphia. Heard that, dude. Yeah, M. Night Shyamalan. That's right. Meek Mills. Yep. Yep. Allen Iverson. Andre 3000. <laughs> He's still there, yeah. Where? In Philadelphia? Andre 3000 was in Philadelphia for a while. Ben Margera playing, playing, playing the flute. Music. I know, I heard he plays the playing flute, Playing the flute, just walking around playing the flute. Really? Dude. What? That yeah. tracks. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. That was that's a good bit. Well, that's pretty, that's huge. Thanks. You're in, dude. Thanks. Hell Welcome yeah. to the Brotherhood. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be yeah. And you get to watch the Eagles win the Super Bowl, too. Oh. Dude, they're playing so good. I hope they win it. It's going to be crazy. James, what do you think about it? Mm, I'm just struggling to keep up with a lot of these names, but I'm loving them. Tell us about Australia. What's going yeah, on over bring, there? Yeah, bring us, what, in general? What's going yeah, on? What's going on? Very little week. Are you guys still, are you guys being gay about COVID? Uh, we're That's getting a little more relaxed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just now? Just now. Yeah, like in the last couple of weeks. No. It's, the stickers are still everywhere. You, you get to what's, stand what's where you stickers? want on the floor, like tour oh, stickers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This place and that place. It's pretty dehumanizing, Stickers. honestly. It but is. you've still got, in New York and California, you've got masks in weird places. Like, libraries have masks still. You have to wear a mask No, you library? do. Every, well, we're, to we're be masks fair, the people who work in libraries got... in America are the biggest pussies. Yeah. Yeah, nobody really goes to libraries except to nobody jerk goes off to libraries kids. anymore. <laughs> I often spend a lot of time in your library. What are you doing in libraries? Oh, I went to, I was walking around LA and I didn't, I just had 15 hours in LA with my bag and I just walked around, so I went to the Inglewood You call your wife your bag? Hmm? No, she left her at home. She's not allowed to come. Oh, She's okay. not allowed to travel. So you went to the library. Yeah. What did you read? Uh, I there were good books on chess at the Inglewood Library. You there went to the library and read collection. books yeah. about chess. You went yeah. to the library in Inglewood. Damn, yeah, dude. I didn't know anything about you it. You fucking and it read a book about lovely. chess. I read several books about chess in the Inglewood Public Library. Like great how- murals. Great toilets. Love Inglewood. Yeah, you took library. a dump in the library. I did take a big dump <laughs> yeah, in the yeah, Inglewood. Reading library. about chess. Yeah. Took a shit. <laughs> took a shit. I'm turning up. I'm taking America to the max. I'm loving it here. <laughs> this is a co- great my country. My actively trying to shut down all the libraries. Why? Because he's like, they're a huge waste of money. They're obsolete. We can just give everyone a hard drive with all the books on them and shut down the physical or use the physical space for something more useful. This Should put the homeless in repulsive. there. That's what I'm saying. He's trying there to all homeless homeless shut down all the libraries. I don't know. I'm kind of with him. Homeless people need Wi Fi. I mean, they just, get it. Yeah, they yeah. get it in New York with those fucking kiosks. They all got phones, and then we built them kiosks so they could charge their phones. Yeah, they'd be like, if we kept a warehouse full <laughs> of cassette tapes, crazy. they'd be like, dude, yeah. fucking get that warehouse out of here. It'd be crazy. What are you going to do with all the books? 
Burn them. Burn them. Mm-hmm. Burn them, yeah. <laughs> Burn them for heat in the winter. Yeah, what would right. the JM <laughs> say about that? Huh? The, the JM's not going to be happy when that happens. Right now, the JM's are the ones censoring everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they're helping us be better versions of ourselves. The I, JM's? Still, I still want to be tight. I mean, they one point for the dick. Hmm? The dick haircut. It's like, all right, figure that I've out. I've never long heard time someone ago. say it's more sensitive. That's that must have been feels better. crazy. Dude. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. not. I mean, I think it's a better shape. What? Scar tissue's in a better location. It's ribbed. For sure, it's better shape. Yeah. It's like a muffin top. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking getting And then also, there's like impressive. the clean, the clean. <laughs> with the foreskin, things get trapped and you got to wash it all the time. Yeah. And there's Ew. the smell. But Especially in the desert. You, that must have been tough. Just dude. open, happy. Yeah. I don't wash after fucking. You had stuff facing. in your penis? Not anymore. But you used to have get stuff in there? Co- like a little it's pocket. Like a be- it's like a belly button. Like a yeah, belly, like belly, button. belly button. Yeah. Belly button stink, huh? It's not right. As sexy as a belly button. For some people, very sexy, but not for me. That yeah, was a get, good one. I guess. Wait, are you circumcised? <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah. in your country, are you circumcised? We're Christian. Everyone, nation, we're nice bro. people. Yo, we're good, welcome smart home, people. Brother. Yeah, it's a welcome Judeo-Christian home, nation. To She's circumcised too. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> sorry, sorry. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, can you talk about your Christianity? So your penis. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get into this. So let's you go, went let's to, you went to the, We've talked about that cult before. Which cult? Yeah. Your cult. Hmm? Oh, the Catholic thing. Yes. Yeah. We Matt, Matt brought it to my attention yeah. years ago. Found How do you magazine. know about it? Yeah. I just read about it in a magazine. Man, it's the Catholics. nicest. I'm, I'm resisting the term them. cult. It is the nicest, loveliest town I've ever been to. Cults are nice. Terrible football team. Really? Well. Who are they playing against? Uh, the they're Jews? playing Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, which, which, what town? Uh, Steubenville, Ohio. I loved it. Yeah. Oh, that's a Catholic town? Yeah. He's, he's like a devout Catholic. Yeah, it's like back to the priest, back do, to the- Do you ever see those Church of the Holy Sepulchre where they swing those fucking steel rods Smells full of and smoke? Bells. Yeah, I love it. Damn, that was badass. Smells and bells. Yeah. <laughs> do you, what do you like? And they and dance you in go the grave with that one black dude. Latin mass? I do, yeah. Wait, wait which black dude? The, uh, Jesus. Yes, we love him. <laughs> he wasn't black, dude. What? I mean- Arab. He would have been in the sun a lot. He would have been darker than we are today. Look like how the blacks try to claim him when he's clearly <laughs> Arab. Yeah, he's obviously Arab. And we they were like, not Africa, white though. means black. We all did come from Africa, though. You ever think of that? I mean, who built the pyramids? I don't know. Aliens. <laughs> yeah. Calling us aliens now. <laughs> aliens and the blacks. That is crazy to have an eighth wonder of the world just lifted out under your fingertips. Like, nah, that was, that was us. Yeah, we did that. We did that. <laughs> we did that. You guys, what have you guys done? <laughs> Fuck it. Stock market. Uh, True. <laughs> pretty good. You know. What much. else? That is pretty good. Okay. Hollywood. Ho- a schmear. Uh, uh, Mendelssohn. Hollywood. You had. Uh, uh, oh, nuclear uh, nuclear weaponry. Yeah. Yep. My thing. Why don't we just settle it once and for all? There has to be the easiest thing to like truly investigate and just prove or prove. And then from there, be like, all right. What's that? We? Like who made that? To be like, it's the Jewish controlled media. Like, that's a lie. Like. Fine, I don't care. But I don't know like, why we won't admit it. Hit the fucking paperwork and then be like, look, it's all, we only own 30% and be like, yeah, that's fair. Right. 50, 60, 70. Like, what percentage of the media would have to be owned? And then it's like, at that point, it's like... <laughs> Gardini's looking it up. It, you well, be on a list, <laughs> guard dog. You can't, you can't that's, thing, I don't, the that's the thing that freaks me out. It's like, why not just like look mm. into it and then be like, oh, it's 60% and people go, okay, well, that's fair. free market capitalism. Why are you crying? Yeah. That's it, what I'm saying. It's like, what's the fuss? What's What's the the it's not a group. It's their individuals who all own it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they, there are Kanye West is arguing like, yeah, but if they happen to all be, or if 90 percent would happen to be Jewish who own the media, theoretically, yeah, he's like, I'm just saying that's the case. And they're like, no, that's not true. It's like, dude, we can easily prove this. Well, right it now. is true. The guy is from Virgin, true? the guy from Virgin, doesn't that not Jewish. Most of the yeah. heads of media corporations are Jewish. Yeah, that's yes. Yeah, really. I think that's. But definitely. like 90 percent of your have, basketball players are black. So do it's they not own like the a NBA? black owned NBA. The what? You can be white and play in the NBA. Like the blackness For doesn't sure. qualify you to do it. And maybe it does. I don't Good I'm not point. familiar with the rules saying? in this country. What the hell are I'm you just saying white about? people having a hard time playing sports over here. Eh, we're having a bit of a renaissance, dude. We've been yeah. flying in those Eastern European bros. We are having like, a renaissance. You're getting big Croatians in there? Yeah, oh, MVP yeah. the last two years in the NBA has been a honky. He's, he's so good. Yeah, true. Got yeah. Wait, who owns the media corporations? <laughs> What is there? Is that New York Times? Al Gasol. No. Paul Gasol. Uh, no, it's New York Times. Uh, no, it's uh, Mexico. Mexico. Got it. My bad. Carlos it. Slim. Well, that's. Am I right? Hold on. We don't change the subject. Yeah, We're getting to the bottom it. of the JM. Okay. That's, that's what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm saying the New York Times is by Mexico. We're talking over each other. True. True. This is exactly what the JM wants. They want us squabbling. What's What's the prognosis? 
<laughs> they won't let you find the data. <laughs> Why not? That's what I'm saying. Not on the first page I, of Google. We know how many Wikipedia. white CEOs there are. Who owns YouTube? Google. A lady? No, not no. CEO. We're talking about owner. Yeah, bro. We know, we're talking about the board. Who owns YouTube? My, my thing is Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg is big. He's yeah. Jewish. True. That's a big one. And then Bezos owns Amazon. He's a he's not Jewish. He's not he? Jewish, but that's not media. Yeah, what the fuck's Bezos? They have they have Amazon Prime. I think he's video. like super what he's like, like top level white. What's that one? It's like Zoastrian. What's that? Zoastrian? Is yeah. he Zoastrian? He might be Zoastrian. Nico Bay, legend person. That predates is. Judaism though. Yeah, I don't that know. That was one of the is. first monotheisms. Damn, dude. Zoroastrian. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. You can marry your cousins. Ahura Mazda is the god. Mm. And he has an evil counterpart that brought all the evil into the world. What, what's the evil guy's name? Do you I know? forget. It's something like that, but it's like. Mr. Oh. Naughty. Yeah. Yeah. That's the translation. Mr. Yeah, that was, dude, Mr. Zoroastrianism was the shit for a while, and it just completely collapsed. Yeah. A couple Jesus guys came. left. Couple Jesus came left. and gave the world the truth. Well, yeah, then it was Judaism. You guys and, tried to deny it, and you hurt him. You hurt him. <laughs> you guys were mean to our Lord. Yeah, we tried to stop something that would affect our dominance. <laughs> uh, what you had no we dominance. Just, <laughs> dude, Rome was fucking you guys up. David fucking nuked you guys with a goddamn slingshot, bro? What? Yeah. Judaism was the most, most powerful place on earth. <laughs> they, well, I, I, I do think they were in the process of getting you a power. Even, <laughs> you couldn't even figure out what you were trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. But the, the Romans came in and gave you. We had a, we had a no conversion rule when David was in charge. Yeah, They're like we're too. Yeah. You guys are gonna do this for the wrong reasons now. Just trying to join up. No conversion. That is the one thing. The Jewish history is it's epic, dude. Yeah, literally yeah. a small band of dudes fighting their way out of a desert, trying to get killed from every angle. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's kind of a success story. It's I'm always like, it's been a fucking huge success story. It's crazy. Yeah. Now they dude. control the biggest empire in the world. The it's media, pretty sick. They control the. That's United what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> they control the is, banks and media. I think <laughs> there's. I think the history is so fucking lit and terrifying. Yeah, and it's just like, dudes, I'm, I'm. If I find out that it's 95. percent JM, it's just a big high five. Like, dude, that's the craziest. Yeah. All every Nobel Peace Prize or that's every the, Nobel, yeah. they, they they win everything. They win that's everything. That's what I'm saying. If They're you find smart. out it's true, then it's like, okay, what's good? How'd you do it? Yeah, right. Yeah. Learn from them. Focus on the positives. That's what I'm saying. I think like, no people, one will give me the data. I don't I'm think they own the media. the ultimate high five and make dudes. What? Who are the big media outlets? Because they were saying Viacom, Jews are It's like two. CBS, AT&T. CBS, AT&T, Comcast. But they were saying Jews control the media before any of these places existed. True. I think they did. But who are who are they? they like, who we don't, you literally can't talk about You literally cannot talk about this. Why can't we talk about it? Because they think if someone got the right fucking internet image of like all the things, they would just, everyone would launch a Holocaust again. It's like, <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. No. No, if you want to appreciate it, like they said the Jews ran Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood was making the best movies in the world. The Jews saying, were not running bro. the French film industry. We had a right to they the were top. terrible movies. I'm trying to get my yeah. brothers Jews did a high five. The right. Jews did a great Dude, job. Yeah. My people were literally white savages in the plains. And we got Christianity, which stemmed from Judaism. That's right. Yeah. Even Christianity comes out of us. It does. You don't have your dude. shit without the us. The Jews made Christ. Ari Shafir Jew, November 2nd, only on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Big high five. But, and then Kanye West goes, he's been wronged. His people have been wronged. That's his complaint. And he just wants to engineer a better future. But you, he, his whole point is you literally cannot have this discussion at all. We're doing it's it. Like, fair enough. We're doing we it. We think we're doing no, it. No, I do it like that. The, the, the can't have a discussion is, is interesting. It, you can't talk about it. Cause it. But they also, from every angle, you go, oh, okay. It's like, yeah, but the Holocaust was in the 1940s, bro. Yeah. I have a penny from when there was the Holocaust, I think. Yeah. I can go, ooh, that was a bad year. That was a bad year. Let me have that penny. <laughs> but when he says you can't talk about it, yeah. just any penny really will do. But yeah, that's the one that's like it's kind of weird. But he said like you can't talk about this. But he wasn't just talking about it. He said he wanted to go DefCon three. But his whole thing is he has to go over the top to open up the convo. But like there should be that's what he some said. level that's why where you're fighting a war on Jewish it's, people. Where that's what if there was no line, it. that would be weird. If the media was like, yeah, everyone I should mean, be dude, having nuclear war against Death Jewish Con people. Three against the Jews is wild. It's a lot. <laughs> you can't have a discussion like well, you he's have to have a mental breakdown. Uh, I think he's I think he's super smart and up to something. He's trying to make interesting points. 
I don't think. I think he's I been think doing that. So Lex what does White just, Lives Matter mean? It's got to mean something oh, more than just, was, I hate blacks. It had the Pope on the front, Wait, and it had Spanish. No, no one just, read into it. No one read about the shit. He watched Candace Owens' documentary Yeah, about how Black Lives Matter is a fraud. She made a documentary about that. Yeah. He watched it. He was like, this is the truth. He brings yeah. it up. He brings it up. Yeah, he yeah. loves that documentary. He brings that up. He but recites then, it. He, what does he say? Then Lex is like, he's like, dude, I'm as healthy. He's like, I've, I'm as healthy as I've ever been. I haven't taken medication in two years. And Lex is like, how you been sleeping? He goes, that's low hanging fruit, bro. <laughs> Don't ask him. Was he talking, like basically alluding to the fact he was in a manic episode? He goes, dude, you're better than that. You're that's that like that. Piers Morgan, old guy on the way out, low hanging fruit, grab rating shit. He goes, Don't do that, man. Wow. Yeah. How you been sleeping? He's yeah. Low hanging. He was hitting just, him with like, Are you on a manic episode right now? Oh, don't do that. Don't just call me crazy. And he's like, bro. That's what he did Chappelle when he's like, I don't want to do this anymore. You guys make this suck. And they're like, you must be crazy. You're on drugs. Yep. But dude, he like, either is. Just, but I think Kanye is having a man. It's it's episode. so hard to do because you watch it, and it. It is a lot of it's completely. I mean, it's not my business. Nonsense. Yeah. What? You know. True. Fair point. If he wants that, if he's having a mental breakdown, who am I to sit there and be like, he's crazy? I'm not calling I, him crazy. I, I, it's easier to write off a point you don't like by saying you must be crazy. To, and to be of, fair, I think I've podcasted while manic, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> yeah. To be fair. Yeah. MLB why I kind of watch him and I'm like, I love him. It is interesting. It's, it's very lovely. Watching it's my interesting. brother on a manic episode and be like, yeah. here's another thing I'm thinking. <laughs> a Beautiful Mind was a good movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, it is. Yeah, it's it's a it's weird. The whole thing's weird and very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. But it is, you know, I don't know. It's interesting. But like six of the last manic episodes have been great. Back to back. No one got, when he was on Ellen, when yeah. he was doing the Did you see Pete? the BBC interview ten years ago when he's on ten it's tremendous. And he's all over the place there he's, too. I think I think Yeezus is a full manic episode. Dude, I, yeah, I think evolutionarily it might have a place in like some dude yeah. just goes berserk for six months and comes back with like one good idea and you're like, whoa, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of sick. He would go berserk and put out like the best music. Yeah. 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 I mean, you got to be a little crazy to be on that level. Yeah. You, you renamed yourself from an already fake name. <laughs> <laughs> the name changes. Yeah, he does make wild claims to like I'm the best writer. It's Shakespeare. Then me. Wow. Shit like that. And it's At least he gives up for Shakespeare. Also True. a Jew. True. <laughs> nah. Uh -huh. huh. No, he's Catholic. No, nah, he's Catholic. Catholic. Uh -uh. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it true. If we yeah, got shit. we got it. Fuck. Just sever a pound. <laughs> you, you guys, you try to divide everybody. Oh my god, man. But yeah, that's the. Uh, that's it was Shakespeare earlier. <laughs> Shakespeare. Yeah. Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah. Yeah, it changed to fit in. <laughs> 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 Where are we at? <laughs> what a joy. Fuck. What a joyous podcast. I will say, this is a joyous time. It is. It is. This is time. a joyous time. I had such a joyous time last night. What'd you do? Just watched, got hammered and watched yeah. stand up comedy. Dude, I can't wait to drink it's it. Yeah, so fun. I, was, I can't wait. It was wait Bernie Mac for an hour and a half. Bernie Mac. Oh, yeah. It's really? so fucking good. He knows all the words to Bernie Mac, and that's really hard because there's Bernie not a Mac. lot of words in Bernie Mac. Yeah, true. There's <laughs> so, a lot of words. No, 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 no. It was so beautiful. Bernie Mac. <laughs> I said that Steve Harvey was my favorite comedian Crushed. ever, and he said, Bernie Mac is number one. Yeah, Steve Harvey yeah. may be good. Steve, no, I, Steve Harvey was excellent. Steve Harvey was excellent, but Bernie Mac was milk and cookies. That was so great. Dude, we watched. Bernie Mac, Bernie Mac was so good that I put on Pimp Chronicles after. I heard Cat that Williams. in bed. That was beautiful. And it God. was, it was what? Was it, it was only okay? Fine. It was yeah. fine compared to how good Bernie Mac was. It's, it it is good. really, dude. The Bernie Mac show was good. His sitcom yeah, was, it was good, good, dude. It's so funny. That. when it was you based see off Milk and Cookies. Was it really? Yeah, oh, yeah, the yeah. Whole that story. Three that kids. gay kid. Yeah, God he was just foppish though in the show. Two year old cheated balls. She was shepherd for the devil. <laughs> it's incredible. When I see my brother, there's going to be a misunderstanding. Dude. <laughs> Can't kill Abel. You know, Can't kill Abel. I mean, dude, literally every single sentence he said was just like, yeah, oh, it was perfect. It's incredible. Yeah, it's truly perfect. And he's in this suit. He's in the, he looks like a pastor. He's got like a, his eyes a are hanky like bulging in his, his hand. Head. And he's like, dude. I'm big boned. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that specially tells Take my shit out this whole room, get dark. Kick it! <laughs> that milk and cookie special was honestly like the pinnacle. Yeah. Of like yeah. how good stand-up comedy could be. It's literally every sentence delivers. Yes. Let me tell you something, y'all. Stop. Yeah. Perfect facial expression. You're like, God damn, it's, dude. It's, I mean, it's making me happy again. Yeah. Yeah, you're thinking about punch, how punch, good it punch, is. punch, punch. Yeah. And no you, you just, it's, he's reached no. like an absolute just nirvana of likability where every single sentence you're like, 
my sister's fucked up, y'all. Like, yeah, you yeah. got some in your family. Don't fucking do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't even get to, and then there's a girl, and the little girl, let me tell you about her. He just goes, two year old's devil. Yeah, it's like two year old's devil. The setup is the punchline. Oh. Yeah. Now, six year old, he a faggot. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> he, a homos- he a homosexual. <laughs> I'm sitting there, just like, yes. yes. <laughs> he's just called a kindergartner a faggot. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so a yeah, he's, ain't no six year old walking around like this. <laughs> <laughs> him downstairs. Him downstairs. Who the fuck is him? him? <laughs> yeah, god damn, that was great. Him downstairs. That's universally everyone like dude to translate that into like Dubai must have been so funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> An eight year old Muslim boy just be like, ha ha ha. Speaking of Dubai, fucking uh Steve Harvey was at the fight. You see him? What? It's crazy. What? Steve Harvey was just in the front row surrounded by Saudi Arabia, like dude in white. Really? Yeah, it was sick. He was in like a beige suit. Dude, I, I Steve sent Harvey you, rules. I sent you that uh, clip of the dude, uh, Slim Thug, in Dubai. I yeah, sent you that video. Yeah. That might be my favorite thing. It just he's H-Town, by the way. H-Town. Of just black dudes dressing like sheiks and walking through Dubai and stunning. I'm like, I hope that is a thing that keeps like going on. I hope it continues. That's my favorite. I love the world's colliding. It's my favorite thing. Just watching a dude fucking stunt on one of those spinny things. Yeah. Black dudes own those spinny things at parties. I've never. I want to spinny start pr- things like a French dude. Like a so if, Susan? The if you go, there's a spinny thing where like you go on it with your bros and there's a 360 camera and you can just stunt oh, for yeah. like three you seconds just stunt, at you a get party. A cool Instagram video. Uh. And you get a, for, like the sickest Instagram video. Yeah. Dude, I live in fear of that. I've been to black weddings where I see the spinny thing and I'm like, someone's gonna grab me up on there, and I'm always I'm walking <laughs> away from that thing. You cannot go on the spinny thing. I mean, dude. You see that video that uh, there's, a, there's a black there's a black Jimmy Vollmer that tries to get on one. And he's got the thing. And he, <laughs> he, he falls off. Do you know the spinny thing? We had this with this not happening. We filmed like oh yeah, intro stuff for him. Yeah. You guys were early on the spinny thing. Yeah, Damn. that was the intro. It went around. This so they, it happening. looked like it went around us. Yeah, it's like a yeah. crazy machine. You just hold a weird pose, and then it's like, how much is it to rent that for the day? I might practice. I think like you're gonna have, you're gonna get on a spinny for thing. your next black wedding. You gotta have the moves ready to go. Let's get there early. Just he do it cheap on the playground. Just do it like on a yeah. carousel. I don't think you know. He does go to several. Yeah. My black wife's weddings. black. My wife's Jewish. No, the, the story you said on the podcast. No, is a black Israelite? <laughs> she is Jew also. But, yeah. um, the thing you said about going on uh, Wild Now at a party. Yeah. On a podcast, it was my, one of my favorite ever podcast it was, stories. I, I was, loved it. It was a fun yeah. time. I've listened back to it a couple times. You went on Wild and Out? No, it was the, I was at I was at a party. My wife's family. truly unbelievable. My wife's from the south side of Chicago. So I'm at a party. I'm in the south side. And they were like, they were people were wearing like wild and out like shirts in there and i was like oh, yeah it makes sense i don't know what the hell's going it on it checks like, out everyone's Shills. matching everyone's looking good i'm you know i'm not really asking questions and then the uh and then they, they had they had planned to have a competitive wild they were going to do wild and out themselves in their backyard freestyle the, every all the all the bits dude and then wow. i'm sitting there i get picked to play and i was just like dude please for the love of god leave me out of this and I just played. I, you know, and I then he had it. to do a freestyle. I had to do a freestyle about being black in America. That was the topic. And I was like, you guys are killing me, dude. What was your... I had to I do a freestyle that. in the blackest place in America about being black <laughs> in America. Stone sober. And it was... What was Actually, it? It was about your daughter. Yeah, black it's like in America. Half, it's easier half. than you think. Dude, and it was just <laughs> on the spot go. And it was, it was truly terrible. What oh was God. it? It's so good. I don't know about my, 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 God. being black. I don't know about that. But my daughter might know half. Or it was terrible. That was nice. That's it was good, but dude. I, I cl- it was clumsy, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself more credit. I remember, maybe I'm just being self-critical on my. I'm bars. sure you're being. I might be critical. judging my bars. Did it get Wait, no, you think he that killed it on the freestyle rap? That was oh. not a bad one. Off the that top, that was of not his bad head. at all. You're right. I had some other, but I was like, you know, you dri- the drive home was just torture. And they just, didn't give it up. They should have been like. It was kind of like ah, very oh, supportive. I, I got some lukewarm okays, and I was like, you know? I know what that is. That's bullshit. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe it's about to start. Fuck. Shit. That's a bad. Went position. to the back and I was like, Pfft. "It was fun though, making people laugh, trying to make people laugh to spit water out was fun. That is fun. That was good. That's when I did all right then. Yeah. Wait, they they drink some water and you have Sip to try to make water, them laugh. Two people sit in a chair and you have to stand with a microphone. There's a DJ behind. There's a DJ behind us, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's cousin was just. <laughs> he was mixing it up. It was on the sick, ones dude. It was nasty. And then you just make jokes trying to make and you have, the water dude, out. Dude, watching people who like just. It's like they they weren't comedians, so they're trying to make people laugh, and it was just like watching people getting teleported into like open mic energy was so fun for me. Be like, oh shit, I don't know, man, fuck it, yo. Like, yeah, what else do yo, I want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> it was so fucking funny. He's not surprised. It got very sexual too. Yeah, people started going very. People started like shaking their ass and like the one dude's face, and like it was wild. I remember sitting there just being like, whoa. 
Was it kind of erotic? I was so nervous at the time. I was like yeah. a bunny, just like <laughs> that, like my sexual faculties weren't really working. <laughs> You're in a foxhole. Yeah, it is funny to be so just checkmated by life, where it's like I, I, there's, I can't be like, no, I'm not. I mean, I could have been like, no, but then like, then it gets weird. That would have sucked to be like, no and sit from afar. I was like, I got to do this. You, have to you just had to fail. do it. Had to do it. Yeah. But that's Next you, time though. I play Wild Out, I'm ready, dude. You're good at that. I'm gonna start writing. You're good to jump into things. You have to, dude. You're very good at that. You have to jump in. That's it's, life, dude. It's in my head. This. I was like, I can say no to this. And I was yeah. like, yeah, but dude, why? Why? The fact that like, dude, when, like when, you know, when things culminate in a thing, it's like, why sit it out? Yeah. Why so what if you hit hard? What if it just and came what if together? my bars murdered? Dude, that would have been <laughs> yeah. nasty. But he fucked, me on the sub- he fucked me on the subject. If it was anything else, I might have actually murdered. Yeah. What it's like to be black in America. What is that pick out of a hat? Or they gave it to you specifically. He claimed they were already set. So to be fair, to, for them to alter them due to my skin color would have been racist. So I, I support him. My wife yelled at him, but I said, "No, Brady, he did the right thing. He did the right thing." But yeah, I mean, it's, that's that's old. That's ancient history, bro. I'm surprised you weren't there trying to assign someone. <laughs> so we his raps are very good. I, I could make a lot of money off him. <laughs> I will take advantage of him. <laughs> Let's put him in a do rag and put him to the top. Whoa! We designed that for me, yeah. Wait, What? We what? designed that for fifty cents. We designed his whole outfit. Did you guys Jews design the fifty uh, G unit tank top? Oh yeah. <laughs> That can't. Be. That you guys durag. keep getting better, dude. <laughs> the Jews are sick, dude. Yeah. We've always said that. We I know. Been, we've never been critical of <laughs> no. the Hebrew, our Hebrew brothers. We wish to learn more. I've always been like, I like to learn more. We do seek knowledge in the Torah. True. We seek knowledge. The Talmud. The knowledge you show. You don't like these types of jokes. You're a true. No, I, no, I love. Jewish You're a Catholic people. man. I love Jewish people. Yeah, I can love Jewish people. What's your people take on the Catholic? Old Test? Do you read the Old yeah. Testament? Yeah, you just read the good part of it, right? It's exciting. It's turnt. Action packed. Yeah. Yeah, action packed. Old Testament. Guys, <laughs> we're going to switch over to the Patreon. Yeah, good call. I think it's time. I also have to dump. Oh, nice. We got big crap coming. <laughs> You'll see me in a minute relieved on the Patreon. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, Ari. Yeah. Plug your thing. YouTube.com slash Ari Shafir. Go subscribe now. It'll be out next week. It's going to be good. I saw it. It's it's very good. Hell yeah. I think it might be your best work. It is. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I think it. it is. It's really fucking good. Nice. Thanks for saying it like that instead of this is your first good work. <laughs> no, you, hey, you got some good stuff. You got some very good stuff. James, yeah. what, what what's going on with you? Do you want to say anything to the listeners? Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to buy a catamaran. I got a podcast about trying to buy a catamaran. You've got a podcast? The James Donald Forbes McCann catamaran plan. What's a catamaran? Like a pontoon? Jesus Christ. It's like a $500,000 boat. Yeah. And what's the name of the podcast? The James Donald Forbes McCann catamaran plan. It's not very SEO friendly. No. uh, It's not going well. And you have a podcast about your journey to buy this $500,000. It's a boat, right? It's a boat, yeah. I've spent a lot of that money coming here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've almost had it. Yeah. That like, when you're you're going like, to get the catamaran. I hope you do. On the James Forbes. I don't even try. Uh, it's not even worth if it. If you keep your the podcast, if you, if you keep. This, po- this, this special is the important thing. I'm going to touch you too. <laughs> well, yeah, I get hard. I'm looking forward hard. to it. Touching is nice. <laughs> nice. That's, hell yeah. We're going to go. Yeah, we're out of here. It's time to go. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the, yeah, we'll do that. Go, Phil. Thank you for having me. <laughs>